All right, YouTube. It's been a while, but your boy's back. And we're going to come at you with a video today. Stir the pot a little bit. Cause some drama. Basically, we're going to do a tier list of active Battleground players within the last two years. And we're going to do this now before the new update comes out uh, for Battlegrounds. And shortly after the Battlegrounds tournament, that hammer is hosting make sure you guys go sign up with your teams uh, after which we will redo this tier list and update it and uh, see where everybody sits uh, after the tournament so i'm going to try and make this video as quick as possible uh, i'm going to give very little explanation for each person to make sure that the video is not too long and uh, let's just get right into it and then we'll do some explanations afterwards. The whole tier list is based off of everything that you can do in Battlegrounds. So that's solo, duo, and group. So it's your ranking is based completely off of everything that you do in Battlegrounds. Not just solo, not just group, but everything all together. All right, first person up is Benu. Benu is an extremely good player. He's an OG in the Battlegrounds world. He's going to go in S tier right away. Uh, not a lot of explanation needed here. Very solid player. Gray. Gray, another OG. We're going to put Gray in A tier. You could probably argue Gray to be in S tier, but it's been a little while since we've seen a lot of Gray. And I don't think he's as good at solos as some other people, so it's going to take him down in his ranking a bit. Deathmatcher. We're going to put Deathmatcher in the B plus tier. Uh, Deathmatcher is a really good group play. Um, a really decent in group plays, but he I haven't really seen him too much in solo. So we're going to go with him there. Binkers. Binkers is relatively new to the Battleground scene. He just transferred from Xbox like two months ago, three months ago, something like that. He's got a long ways to go to get his name out there, but mechanically you can tell he's going to be a very good player. We're going to put Binkers in A tier. He's going to go under Gray. Maggio. Maggio's a really good player. He's been around a long time. Really solid. Um... He's going to go into S tier, but he's probably going to get shuffled towards the back of S tier uh, for some other players. I think, um, I think I like him there for now. Sunbark, another OG, been around a long time. We're going to go with S tier for Sunbark. Uh, not the best player in solos, but extremely seasoned and been around for group play for a long time. Um, yeah, again, he, not a great player in solo, so that's going to take his rank down. But because he's been doing this so long, you gotta got to put him in S tier overall, specifically towards the group play. Uh, Ket Sparrow. Um, Ket... Mm, Ket could work on the mechanics a little bit. Um been doing BGs for a long time, so I think probably going to put Ket towards the back of B tier eventually. Yeah, let's go with B tier for now. Uh, Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam's been doing BGs a long time. He's been around a long time. He's a pretty decent player. We're going to put him in B+. Plus. Uh, both solo and group play. Pretty well-rounded. Ironworks. Ironworks been at it quite a bit. Um, he plays a lot of different classes, does a lot of different things. I think we'll put Ironworks in B+, plus for now. Um, he does solo groups, all of it. Matty Quinn. Matty Quinn is probably one of the best players from the Goon group. Um, we're going to put Matty Quinn in A tier. Six. 
I'm gonna put six in B plus behind Ironworks. Blast my ship. Blast been around a long time. Very solid player. Um, I'm gonna put Blast in S tier above Magio. He does solo, duo, group, everything. Wanna buy my dog? I'm gonna put one and buy my dog in B plus. Um, I do think that he's mechanically a better player than uh, Sam, for example. Um, but he needs to play Battlegrounds more to get his name up there more. He could be pretty decent if he keeps going. He could definitely make his way up towards the A tier. Titanus. Titanus has been around a long time. Haven't seen them in groups much at all for a while, but... Um, Titanus used to be a pretty good player in Battlegrounds. Pretty good solo duo. Not the best in group. I think we'll go... Something around here for now. Napalm. Napalm is a pretty decent Nightblade. Uh, I've heard that he's playing Healer now as well. Again, not a lot of information to go off of Napalm. He needs to keep at it and keep going. Um, to get his ranking up a bit in my opinion. Urvath. Urvath been around a little while. Um, I think Urvath definitely has some improvements that he needs to work on. But he could become... A better player for sure. We're going to go here for now. I don't see him too much in solo, but duo and group. Um, you know, pretty decent player. You know, average. Nox Deville. We're going to put Nox in C tier. Nox is decent with the bombing necro build or as a support role, but... Um, not exactly something, someone that I would put in B personally. Kawaii, uh, let's put Kawaii. I think Kawaii can go in B plus. Let's go towards the back of B plus for now. Kind of a one trick pony with the healing Sork build that they play, but they could be pretty hard to track down and and you know one of probably you know the only or best healing sorks in battlegrounds these days so <laughs> all right ruski 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 is an actual meme this guy's going in fucking meme tier no i'm kidding uh ruski doesn't listen in group play he doesn't communicate he has a lot to work on um solo he's okay decent but group play he's definitely Hurting the team a lot of the time. Definitely has a lot of improvement to go off of. So we're going to put Ruski in C tier. Ricky Bass. Ricky's a decent player. Um, let's go B tier behind Irvoth. Hmm. I don't know. I, I might be trolling a little bit, putting Ricky above Ket. I don't know about that. Uh, I think we're going to put Ricky behind Ket. Uh, Sir Nubi, Sir Nubi be mechanically is pretty good player. He definitely needs to keep working on it, but I do think Sir Nubi is deserving of a B plus. Miracle? Miracle is one of the OGs in the Battlegrounds world. Um, very well-rounded player. I think what takes him down a little bit is the solo aspect of his gameplay. In terms of duo and group, one of the one of the better players in the game. Um, gonna have to put Miracle in S plus just because of how knowledgeable and well-rounded he is in duo and group play. I personally feel like solo is what would bump him down a little bit, but he's still, you know, as much as I hate to admit it, he still is a very good solo player. Um, not the best in my opinion, but he is good at it. Slavka. Slavka, let's go... 
Mm, let's go towards the top of B tier. I, uh, I don't think Slavka is better than Urvath. Let's, yeah, that feels right. Star Jumper, Star Jumper, I used to see him a lot back in the day. Haven't seen much of him at all in quite a while. Um, decent player, not the greatest. Uh, let's go behind Slavka, I think. Uh, putting him again above Cat, I'm not totally sure about that, but feels decent. Storm Slash, Storm Slash. Let's go, uh, he's, he's actually pretty good mechanically, but he doesn't play all that much to give him a proper rating. He needs to play a lot more and get a decent group going. Solo is his more strong suit than group, I would say. Um, let's go, uh, let's go here with Storm Slash. Indo, the fuck? Indo. Okay, Indo is an actual meme. The fuck? Why is Indo on this list? Now, okay, like, as much as I'd like to, Indo is not that brain dead, but realistically, I would probably rather have Indo on my team than Ruski, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> I'm actually going to have to put Indo up here, uh, as much as that hurts me. Anarchy. Yeah, Anarchy's got a lot to work on. Um, places like Necro Bomber build a lot of the time. It can be good damage, but the survivability is very low. Definitely struggles with the survivability. Um, bottom of B or top of C, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to go C. Batoski? Batoski has been around a long... Oops. Batoski has been around a long time in uh, Battlegrounds, as far as I know. Lots of solo and duo play from then. Not a whole lot of group play, but... You know, they do a lot of damage when they do get on your team. Um, I feel like towards the back of B-plus is, B plus is a decent place. Uh... Above six or Kwai, I don't know. Butoski just plays one build, an Okenso build, but so does Kawaii. Um, I think I'm going to put him behind Ironworks. Constine? Oof. Constine's the OG. He's been up there with Miracle a lot of this time. Uh, one of the best solo players. One of the best duo, one of the best group player in Battlegrounds. Just, I think overall, probably currently the most rounded player in Battlegrounds. We're going to put Constantine at S+. Um, don't even really need to get into that too much. If you know, you know. Grothar. Grothar is not a bad player. He's actually pretty decent. Um, is he better than some of these guys? I don't think so, but... Let's go like behind Titanus, maybe. Hacky, you love to see Hacky on your team when you queue in solo, because you know that motherfucker is gonna cross you you a lot. But when it comes to duo, I'd much rather have a lot of different people. And in group play, not the greatest, pretty non-existent. So we're pretty much just ranking Hacky off of their solo play. Um, Nevertheless, still a pretty decent player. I think we'll go top of B for now. Garion. Garion's been at this a long time. He's a pretty good group player. He listens. He does what he's told. He runs the proper builds and everything. Um, I feel like Garion... You know, I'd rather have him in my group than a lot of other players on here. But I think Solo takes him down a little bit. Let's go like behind Napalm for now. Jay Smitty. <clears throat> Smitty is a pretty good player to be honest. Um, 
I think he's deserving of A tier. Where at A tier? Probably behind Binkers, but above Maddie. Uh, Stewie, same thing. I think Stewie's slightly better than Smitty. We'll go here. Skuma. Um, you know, Skuma does his best. He plays healer. He plays some damage. Um, all in all, though, you know, I'm being realistic with this list uh, based off of my knowledge and the people I talked to before I made this video. And uh, I'm going to have to put Skuma in the C tier. Um, we're going to go behind Anarchy. No hate or shade towards anybody in this. This is just my realistic opinion here. Miss Yusha. Um, Miss Yusha played a lot. She struggles with ping, but she's been doing a lot of BGs lately, trying to get the best she can. Plays a healer and a DK DPS nowadays, I think. Uh, I think I'm going to have to put Yusha in B tier. Probably... Let's go... I'm going to go behind Slavka for now. Uh, Thanos, a.k.a. Shady. Now, Shady's a very good group player. He does multiple roles. He knows what he's doing. He doesn't have a whole lot of experience in Battlegrounds, but when he does come to Battlegrounds with his group, they perform pretty well. And... Uh, ultimately when they start doing more battlegrounds, if they do, I think they are going to rank higher up on the tier list. Shady doesn't do any solo playing at all. I've never seen him in solo. So based on that fact, you know, this is a battlegrounds, everything to do with battlegrounds. And again, I'm going to update this list after the tournament and after the update comes out and new battlegrounds and everything. So I'm going to, um... Realistically, probably have to put Shady in A tier. Uh, I just have a hard time putting him in S tier, even though he's an S. He's an S tier group play or an S plus actually. Like, let's be realistic. He's S plus in group play, um, but he doesn't do anything solo in Battlegrounds. Never seen him in a single solo. And if you know we're taking this rating in fifty fifty, I I have to take him down lower on the list. He's got to play more solo to be a more rounded battleground player. Um, so I think we have to do that for now. I don't. Maybe I move Shady up to like S tier somewhere. We'll see. We'll see how the rest of the list goes. Shoddy. Shoddy. Realistically, um, let's go with. Uh, Mechanically, I don't think he's better than Binkers, but he's been playing a lot. He's got a much better track record. Plays a lot more. Um, I don't know. Pro behind Gray, but I don't know above or behind Binkers. Let's go above Binkers for now. All right, Unreal. Another Animosity member. Um... I've seen Unreal in duos quite a bit. Well, you know, a little bit here and there with Shady and in group play. Um, I don't think it, he is the best in their group. I'm going to go with behind Smitty. Uh, again, he has no solo ranking in Battlegrounds, so I can't put him higher than that. Immaculate, to be honest with you, I kind of think Immaculate is the best player from the Animosity group. Um, he kind of feels like the carry a lot of the time on his Nightblade. Um, again, no solo experience at all from him. I think I'm going to put him behind Shady for now. <clears throat> Trizek. Yeah, once again, no solo play from him in Battlegrounds. Um, just group play only, so I can't can't rank him too high. We're going to go probably behind Gray with Trizek. Uh, Goblin, um, yeah, you know, once again, group play, 
He's a good player. I actually think Goblin Sama is pretty good. Um, but I can't. I got to factor in that he doesn't play any solo battlegrounds, so it's going to take him down on his overall rating. These guys would probably make it into the S and S plus tier if they did more solo, but they just don't. So if maybe eventually we'll do a group play only tier list, but this is everything to do with battlegrounds. So we're going to have to take Goblin Sama down a little bit. I think he's probably better than Trizek though. Camera? Camera's pretty good. Um, pretty solid player overall. I think he's deserving of A tier. Um, I don't think he's mechanically better than Binkers. He does have a better track record. He's been doing it longer, but I just don't think that he should be above Binkers overall. Gromster. Gromster is a really good player. Mechanically sound on pretty much everything he plays. I don't see him all that much in Battlegrounds. Just, a, you know, here or there. When he does play, he does seem to do very well and play any class that you put him on. Um, I don't think you can put him in S+, plus though, just for the fact that he doesn't play enough. Um, however, I do think that he's better than Bennu overall. Really good solo duo and group player i hope i hope gromster gets his group together um, or just keeps playing battlegrounds more in general i think he could become one of the best players in the game at battlegrounds arcanex arcanex is an og he's been around a long time really good player um we're gonna put arcanex behind blast but above magio Yeah, I think that feels good. Monkey, yeah, Monkey kind of the same thing. Not as good as Arcanex, though. Good player, but not as good as Arcanex, in my opinion. Tiro Toxism. Uh, this guy's kind of average. Um, solo duo quad. I mean, he talks a lot. He's okay. I think his group needs some work overall. Um probably gonna put him in B tier like above hacky I'd say maybe Phantasmic Phantasmic is actually pretty good uh, I think if Phantasmic played more in group play they would start to shine more I think mechanically they're actually a pretty good player um, I don't think better than Uncle Sam though, or soon newbie yeah, let's go here above Sir Newbie. I think that I think that's accurate. Sudika Sudika struggles heavily with ping. Um Yeah, I don't I'm gonna have to put Sudika towards the bottom. It's just a struggle for, for her. Tricks. You know, I personally know that Trix is a pretty decent player from doing one v ones with him. I know he's mechanically decent. But he just never seems to do well in battlegrounds, like fighting multiple people at the same time. There's some, there's some kind of struggle there. Something's going on. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put tricks probably towards the back of B plus. I think he definitely could become a really good player, but or at least a better player. But for some reason, every time I see him play, it just seems to struggle. Let's go, let's go here. Counter Tenacity is a decent player. We'll put him in the top of B for now. Ren the Red Fox. Um, I think Ren is going to go... Let's go here behind Slavka. Uh, Sakar. Sakar pretty much only plays solo battlegrounds. He doesn't do a lot of group or even duo play, so I just can't give him that high of a rating. He's decent at solo though. Um but not great. But like I don't know. It... Let's 
I know he's mechanically decent. I've played with him in Cyrodiil before, but he just doesn't do Battlegrounds enough to give him anything higher than like mid mid B. Uh, pack of ferrets, yeah. Pack of ferrets seems to struggle a lot of the time we play him. Um, I think probably around here. Blubbly God. Okay, this guy is actually a meme. Complains about everything, always messaging everybody, and gets shit on every game I've ever seen him. The guy is just playing the wrong game. Eggmix. Eggmix is actually a pretty decent player, to be honest with you. Um, I think he's actually pretty good if you had a better group around him he'd be higher in the ranking i'm gonna go top of b and colta yeah where'd he go and colta's pretty good good solo player good duo player not the best group player um but probably just doesn't have an ex enough experience at it um, that's probably top of B, I think. I don't think I can put in Colta above Cameron. Well, I think he's better than Maddie, though. Yeah, let's go with then Colta here. Okay. Um, this got fucked up a little bit. All right, Rufus. Rufus is kind of trolling. Uh, he plays solo a lot. Very little duo. Very little group play. Can't give him a realistic high rating here, but he's decent at solo. Very bad protecting himself, though, and seems to die easily. We'll put Rufus down here for now. Null is actually pretty decent. I'd like to see him with a solid group. I think he's pretty me mechanically uh, rounded as a player. Um, maybe... Uh, I think he's better than some of these guys, to be honest with you. I, I do think Null has pretty good mechanics. Let's go behind Titanus. Uh, myself, oh shit, um, I think I'm one of the better solo players in the game in Battlegrounds, but I ha haven't done a lot of group play long enough to give myself too high of a ranking, so I'm going to be realistic, um, and I'm probably going to fit myself in here just ahead of Blast. Uh, I do think I'm a little better in group play and uh, definitely in solo. Um, so I feel like this is fair. I am much better than Sunbark at solo, but so but Sunbark has been doing group play a long time and he used to be very good at it for a while. He's kind of fallen off. Um, but I don't want to put myself too high because I haven't been too, I, I haven't been active enough in group play to rank myself higher than this. I think this is, you know, realistic. King Nar. Um, and again, I do every form of Battlegrounds. Solo, duo, quad. I do think that Shady, for example, is an S plus group player. But his ranking drops down because he doesn't do any solo. Which is why I'm ranked above some of these guys that are definitely better group players or have a better track record. But, you know, again, this is everything to do with Battlegrounds, not just one thing or the other. King Nar, um, mm, haven't really seen King Nar around too much lately. I think we'll probably go towards the top of B. Candlestick. Candlestick's pretty good player. Um, probably one of the better players from that group. I feel like maybe something around... 
I might be off a little bit on candlestick here. I'm not sure. I'm going to go behind Garion. Because I would rather have Garion on my group, um, personally. But I haven't played with candlestick enough. Shrimpo. Shrimpo's actually pretty decent. I wish his group would play Battlegrounds more often. But as it sits from what I've witnessed, um, we'll probably put him around this area. Delush. Delush is actually a pretty good player. Been around a while. I think he's deserving of A tier. Um, let's go behind Shoddy but above Binkers. Hero Hero. And Blast tells me that this guy is actually pretty good at Warden. From what I've seen, he's a decent player. I don't know that I can do too much with him because I've never seen him in solo. Um, only in duo and group. So, I feel like I'm probably going to have to go towards like the back of B plus here. Um... I, I do think Giro here is a decent mechanically, and I would probably rather have him uh, than some people on this list. I'm going to put him above Grothdar. Crimson Reaper. Um, let's go... Hmm. I don't know if Crimson is better than Ket. I don't know if he's better than Ricky. Um, I don't think so. I think we're going to go top of C tier with Crimson. Swift. Swift is actually mechanically a pretty decent player. He's way too aggressive a lot of the time, though. It gets him in trouble and gets him killed. Um, but if you slowed down a little bit, I think he would be pretty good. I think he's deserving of B+. Plus, probably... Probably something around here. Meldrop. Yeah, Meldrop kind of the same thing. Pretty similar to Swift, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I probably played him right behind Swift. Cal. I don't think Cal does enough Battlegrounds to really get a, high, a decent ranking here. Um, haven't seen him in solo much. He used to play a bit of solo. Um, mostly duo or group, but... Um, I think we're going to have to go B tier with Cal, maybe. Um, I do think he is better than some of these guys, though. I... Would probably rather have Cal on my team than Irvoth, for example. Duro, Tenacity, Sola. Mm, yeah. I personally would rather have Cal than some of these guys on my team. So we'll go top of B. Ishmi. It's kind of a one trick pony with his sorcerer play. Um, but he's pretty decent at sorcery, he's a good solo player. Uh, better than Cal? I don't know about that. I'm just going to go here. Golmer Avocado. Um, I think Golmer is a pretty good player, to be honest. Uh, pretty well-rounded. Um, he's a good group player, and he's good at solo. He's good at everything. Uh he hasn't done too much battlegrounds, but from what I've seen, what he does do, he does it well. Like I don't, I think Golmer is actually very good. I'm gonna go here behind Arcanix, but above Monkey. Timber. I don't think Timber is as good as Golmer. I think it's Golmar like that. Um. Timber is good too, though, but I I don't think he's as good as Golmer, um, Magio. I don't know if he's before or after Magio, to be honest. 
I do think monkey is probably better though. So let's put I don't know if I can put timber here like yeah let's mm. I feel like timber maybe should go to A tier. Mm. It's it's all right. I think it's okay. Tuco Tuco's actually pretty good in this group that he plays with. Um I think he's one of the better players personally. We'll go B plus. Slags. I know that Slags is a mechanically a pretty good player. Um seen him in solo quite a bit. Not enough group play. He needs to do more group play. Overall, I can't give him too high of a rating even though I do think he's deserving of it, but he's got to play Battlegrounds more in order to move up on the list. Um, I'm going to probably go somewhere here in A tier. Um, I personally do think that Binkers is a better mechanical player. Um, so we're probably going to go with Slags like here. Uh, Rayblaze. Yeah, Rayblaze. It's got some work to do. Um, need more playing from Ray Blaze. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to go behind Crimson Reaper, to be honest. Just need to play more BGs. I uh, haven't seen them a whole lot. And for what I have seen, look kind of rough. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is the uh, as of October 9th, 2024, active players battleground tier list. Um, this will be updated after the battleground tournament on November 18th, hosted by Hammer. Uh, we will come back and visit this again and edit people's positions. Um, hopefully this gives them an incentive for new groups to uh, play in Battlegrounds. Um, if I missed anybody that you can think of that should be on the list, put it in the comment below, let me know. And um, I'll definitely uh, edit some of this uh, in the future on the next one. So it'll probably be at like November 20, 21st or something like that. I'll do the update after the tournament, um, but yeah. Thanks you guys. Thanks for watching. Hit the uh, subscribe button, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Give me your comment on your ranking. Let me know if you think it's fair or if I'm smoking all the good drugs and I'm just crazy. Um, but all right, catch you guys later. Peace out, everybody.